Why are you avoiding me? I am not avoiding you. What are you hiding from me? I am not hiding anything from you. Then why can't we make love like normal people? Like husband and wife. Why? Can't. Have you suddenly gone impotent? Oh, you're in the cult that forbids you from sleeping with your wife. Abira. that I have done to you. I'm sorry. 
And if I haven't done anything, I'm still sorry. But please, please, George, we need a child. in your heart for peace to exist between you and your husband. I mean, I see the way both of you behave to each other, sister, it's no good. The other day, Mako had to make his own meal. Sister, I know and I believe that he loves you. At least, he buys you gifts every time he comes back from work. I mean, I am not a child. I have a very strong feeling that George's hands are not clean concerning Collins' death. I just can't place a finger on it. Do you know that for seven months now, my husband has not touched me? Do I have leprosy? Or could it be because of the rape? Sister, it must have been very traumatic for him. Just take it easy. At least you're the wife. You have to draw him closer to you. As long as George refuses to play his marital obligation to me as a husband, I refuse to carry out my roles as a wife. And that's the way I want it to be. At least for now. I doesn't need any treatment at all. Four years. Telling you. Oh, I like this stuff. Did you I get one? No, you ask sister. No, I don't know anything about it. This is wonderful. I'm coming. Enjoy your room, man. Mama. I thought I'll be able to handle this by myself. 
Mama, I can't. It is eating me up. I need help, Mama. Mama, I need help. George, my son, please. It is wise for a man to always be patient and tolerant with his wife. In whichever way my daughter has offended you, please forgive her. Please don't allow anything come between you and your wife. In fact, when have you called me on the phone telling me all that has been happening? I was not happy. I was not happy at all with my daughter. Please, my dear, I strongly believe that the good Lord that gave us the first child will still bring another one. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Mama. Thank you, my son. By the grace of God, from now onwards, everything will be okay between I and my wife. All right. Thank God, my son. I'll be leaving first thing tomorrow morning. Why so soon? Hmm. My journey was not planned. I left my visa just to come and help chase away Satan from this house. Church, these antiretroviral drugs will last you for a while. At least it will help boost your immune system. Anyway, so how is your wife? She's fine. So have you resumed your sexual activities yet? Not yet. My conscience will not just allow me to touch this great woman. Why? Like I said before, I'm scared of infecting her. I mean, this woman has been too good to me. Look, George, people with HIV still have normal sexual relations with their spouses, okay? All you need to do is just to be more careful, that's all. Greater than 12, which is less than 13. You wrote to it. Okay. When you finish up.
so cold on this baby because you know how I love you so much. Yeah, you can sing it. You're going to be a lawyer. I mean, how do you hear Colin singing when he's not here? So cold is my baby because you know how I love you so much. Colin, Colin, Colin. Sister, I can't hear anything. You know how I love you so much. You're going to be a lawyer. Collins. You see Collins now. Running on the road. Sister, there is no Collins. I can't see anyone. No, I just wanted to recount that. I'm taking it back immediately. Okay. Hmm. So, what are you going to have for lunch then?
two in this house. Ivy went back to school yesterday. Let me tell you, that money is meant to be used to execute an urgent contract. Henry, as a matter of fact, is waiting for me at the office now. Give me that money. Give me my one million naira now. Yes, I saw you counting the money, but where did you put the money? Hey, Barry, you want to get even with me, right? <laughs> is it? Give me my money now! I don't have time! What's she talking about with money? What happened to the money? Why did you give it? Look, because of the urgency of this contract, I'm going to get money from another source to fund this contract. But before I come back, make sure that my money is placed here on this table for me. Please! Money. What money? When I was living here, you was counting the money now. I went downstairs. I don't come back up. I don't understand. It's come over you what has come over you George I said I did not take that money and I stand by that I did not take it you want to try me eh? you're not stepping your feet into this house unless you get that money the 
earlier the better. I don't care where you go. I don't. I don't care anything. I want just that money and that money, that money. I'll go. And don't touch me. Just don't touch me. I'll go. Just I will go. I need a break anyway. Dede, that is not all though. George came back home with large sums of money in his briefcase. I went to call him for lunch and we went downstairs to have lunch. When we finished having lunch, George called me that the money was stolen. That I am the one that stole the money. All my efforts at explaining to him that I did not take the money, proved about it. He started threatening me that if I don't find the money, that my mother will come and pick my dead body. Then he threw me out. Uncle, do you know that since Collins died for over one year now, George has not touched me. Each time I try to touch him, he refuses. It's not as if he's sick or something. Titi, I don't understand. Uncle, I don't know what is going on. I'm tired. It's not okay, happening to me. No, he can't turn you into a madman. He can't. It's all right. Now that I have had everything, we must get to the bottom of this matter. Just relax, okay? Relax. Feel at home here. This is your home. I'll make sure that your home becomes normal again. Okay? Relax. You must go and look for something to eat. Hmm? Mm -hmm. Well, there. Get something to eat. It's okay. It's the tragedies of life. It's the sadness of love songs. Am I leaving just to die? It's all sorrows when I'm long gone Is it the hunger in my eyes? All the riches can I find me love Is it the recklessness of man? Everything in life is gone wrong How could I be blind? That I could not see it coming Was a warning to forsake me now. Don't forsake me, Lord. I'm hidden sorrows in my heart, and the shame is really killing me. Oh, my heart. 
heart is bleeding now Silly things we take for granted Why should I be the one? All oh, this may be so unwanted If I could turn it all around Change my right things from making Is it late for me to try? not your dog. You don't have to treat her with so much disdain and hatred. If you, if you look at her, you will see that she has lost weight. If you call your wife a thief, what do you expect an outsider to call her? See, we are not happy with the report we have received. But get back on the back home. Eh? Eh, both of you must love one another more than you have ever done before and what we need from the two of you is another grandchild in this house and not fight today beat tomorrow and all those other things we do not want them again no. abby yes thank you very much thank you george 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 Mama. how many times have i called you three times are you no longer a man? Answer me! I am. Then I want a grandchild. I want a grandchild, George. Because uh, your wife told me that you've not touched her for a very long time now. Why? George, why? And please, my son, no matter the offense your wife may have committed, you don't have to punish her that way. It is not proper. Hmm? George, look for your money carefully. God will help you find it. Most importantly, I want a grandchild. I want to hear the cry of a child in this house. Are you listening, George? Yes, ma'am. There, there. Uh -huh. Mama? Yes. Don't worry. Things will change from now on. Ah. <laughs> I am very happy to hear that. <laughs> you see? You tested positive to HIV virus. What is it? Don't spoil it. Please don't spoil it. I can't. What do you mean, I can't? I just remember that the doctor said you should rest for a long while after the rain. <laughs> I just remember the doctor says I should take a long while after the rain. George. 
The earlier you tell me the truth about what is eating you up, the better for both of us. You see all this funny behavior you've been putting up now for a while, huh? I have tried, though. George, God in heaven knows that I have tried. What do I do? How do I solve this constant pestering for a child? If I try impregnating her, my HIV status will come out and that will be disastrous for both of us. Should I tell her about my condition? No, 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 no. Okay, okay. I know what to do. I know what to do. <laughs> okay. Oh, Pastor. Yes, Sister. Since the rape incident, my husband has not touched me. Despite the intervention of my mother and several relatives, I was hoping that, as a man of God, at least he would listen to you. It's alright, Sister Ibiere. God is still on the throne. There is nothing hidden from him. In the book of Hebrew 4 verse 13, he says, Neither is there any creature that is not made manifest in his sight. But all things are naked and open unto his eyes of whom we have to do. And in 1 John 3.20 he says, God is greater than our conscience. He knows everything. Therefore, cheer up. Hmm? He knows everything. Not only will he make it manifest, but we surely pull it down, no matter what it is. Now let us pray. In Jesus' name. Yeah. In Jesus' name. Yeah. And in the mighty name of Jesus. Yeah. The study man is here to see you, sir. Oh, let him come in. Well, I hope you're done with the study of the agreement. Um, yes, but it's just that um, there were like two or three minor adjustments I would like to. Oh, that's good. That's good. Well, um, my boss just uh, came in and asked for it. He actually wants to see you in the for the endorsement before he travels again this afternoon. How splendid! Well, let me fetch it immediately so we can go right away. No problem. Um, care for anything? Oh, uh, well, I'm okay. I'm alright. You sure? Okay. Well, Mr. Judge, uh, anything in matter? agreement grown wings and legs. How could it have disappeared? Oh, um, Mr. Judge, you still can't find it. Sir, we're still looking for it. Yeah, uh, Damien, please, just give us a little more time. Uh, well, um, sorry, Mr. Judge. My chairman just called and I should be going back to the office right away. I think we'll award the contract to the second bidder. This is because your company has not shown enough seriousness. Good day. So sad it should 
says that the heart of man is deceitful above all things desperately wicked thoughts come from the heart and evil thoughts are sources of evil deeds Satan uses evil thoughts as a device of temptation um, pastor yes I don't have any evil thought towards my wife that's what you're driving at. I love my wife. Brother Judge, I know you love your wife, but is it God you love? The Bible says that men ought to love their wives just like they love their own bodies. Your wife is you, and you are your wife. If your wife says you hurt her, you harm her, and you do things that tear her heart apart, then you have to mend your ways. Pastor, why do you keep believing my wife and not believing me? Is sex the only means through which a husband can express his love for his wife? Strange and mysterious things have been happening, I mean, to me, in my house, in my office, in my business, Everywhere, and my mind is preoccupied with these things. Brother Church, I know tension can make you act the way you do, but the hallmark of a true Christian is his ability to control himself. The Word of God says, Cast your burdens upon the Lord, for He cares, and all your psychological problems will go away. Thank you, man. Now, call your wife and let us pray together. You're welcome in the name of the Lord. You are welcome in the name of the Lord. I can see your glory, the glory of the Lord. You are welcome in the name of the Lord. You are welcome in the name of the Lord. You are welcome in the name of the Lord. I can see your glory. The glory of the Lord, you are coming to me, Lord. Brother George, you are welcome in the name of the Lord. Oh, oh, thank you, Pastor. Did you know I was coming? Oh, the King of Glory remains seated on the throne. Yes. Brother George, I was troubled by your trouble, and I've been asking the Lord why. Why, Lord, is your son in this precarious situation? Brother George, you are a troubled man. Troubled in the spirit and in the body. Pastor, is only in the spirit. Strange and mysterious things. Seketori bo seketori manche. Yosindi arubo sakatiri basoko. Rubo santa ke hira ba. Brother George. The word of the Lord says, and these I say to you, walk in the spirit, and you shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh. And in Romans 6, 6, it says, knowing this, that our old self is crucified with him, that the body of sin might be destroyed, and that henceforth we should not serve sin. Dearly beloved brother judge, I beseech you, 
abstain from fleshy lusts which war against the soul. Brother George, the glory of the Lord is upon you. Amen. Amen, Pastor. Um, Pastor, yes. has the Lord revealed to you about the havoc in my business? You know, all the things that disappear mysteriously <laughs> just like that. Brother George, in 2 Kings 6.16, it says, Fear not, for they that are with us are greater than they that are with them. And in Mark 10, 49, Jesus says, Be of good comfort. Arise. He is calling you. Jesus is calling you, Brother Church. Now let us pray. In Jesus' name, No one able to accomplish what concerns me today. If I could turn it all around, turn back and turn back the hands of time. How could I be blind? How could I be blind? That I could not see. I could not see. So tell me, to what do we owe this special invitation? Why the haste? Let's take some couple of things first. Wait, sir. Let's take it out. Thank you. And this can be possible for us. Thank you. So I will walk. Fine, thank God. Everything is okay. You know, with the emergence of this terrible system, all that. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you. Um, to what we owe this special invitation. Exactly. We owe it to friendship. Okay. Now let us toast to a long lasting friendship. Cheers. <laughs> Judge. You're surprising me. You see, we didn't just become friends yesterday or today. We've known each other for a very long time. I mean, 10 years to be precise. So, why make sure of it now? <laughs> well, I'm very happy that um, you understand it that way. And that means that our friendship has graduated to another level. To the level of brotherliness. Jide, you are my brother. And I am a brother in need. Jide, you are the only person now that knows everything about me. My wife, my entire family, in short, my entire life. You are the only person now in the entire universe that knows that I am which I feel positive. Oh, come on, G. Yes. Come on, Jod. You see, if you're talking about divulging the secret, I never did. Okay. And I know that you never did. But just hear me out, patient. All right, go. I'm over here. Okay. You know, what my wife and I went through before we gave birth to that boy that eventually died. Yes. You equally know that there is nothing medically wrong with my wife or myself. 
It's just that that's how God wants it. Today, my conscience will not allow me to infect my wife because her blood will be on my hands. And I am under intense pressure practically from everybody to give birth to another child. My wife, her parents, my own parents, even our pastor. And I can no longer stand the pressure anymore. George, you see, um, this is certainly a precarious situation, if you ask me. But tell um, what do you have in mind? You, you, Jide, I want you to sleep with my wife and get out. Sorry, 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 but yes. I want you to get my wife pregnant and save me from all this pleasure. Please. George, do you know the magnitude of what you just said? Yes. How can you even think about it? Talk more of voicing it out. Oh, have you gone insane? Look, Jide, even in the Bible, it is written. Now, when an elder brother dies, the younger brother is under a duty to raise children for the elder brother. When it comes to raising children, you know that I am practically dead. And you are under a duty to raise children for me through my wife. Please. You know what, George? I think you have to go and get your head examined. Excuse me. If I could turn it all around, turn back and turn back the hands of time. How could I be blind? How could I be blind? That I could not see it come. I could not see, How could see, I not see. see. Are you on medication? What drugs are you taking away? What do you mean hiding from you? If I have headache, can't I take drugs? Must I tell you I have headache? That's not true. All those drugs will never be for a headache alone. But what is going on? See that? 
You know, I am really very sorry about my attitude and the conduct over these past few months. I don't know what came over me. I want us to start living again in love, in understanding, in mutual trust and respect. Pastor Ephraim has prayed for us. I even did a deliverance with him. You know, I know that I may have done, you know, one or two things that you didn't find very nice. I want you to forgive me. I'm sorry. And so I got us this to drink to our renewed love and everlasting joy. Does this mean that you're not willing to try for a child? Why not? I love children, you can say that for me. And what's marriage without children? Of course, I need a child. Does that mean tonight is guaranteed? Here.
first in bed. You deserve even more. Thank you. You are wonderful. You are simply too delicious. <laughs> what? Thanks. It was just like our first time. Thanks. And, you know, I was just so tired. And I guess I slept off. Mr. Mold over me. Who made the egg? I did. I never knew you could cook. There are many more things about me you are yet to discover. Sex of the baby until the baby is born. Baby daddy wants to keep the surprise. <laughs> Alright, if you say so. Alright, I'll be on my way if there's nothing else you want to tell me. Alright. Alright. Just take care of yourself. Thank you. And um, I'll be back next week. Change that above to foregoing. So? What I mean is that you should cancel the above and replace it with foregoing. So it will now read in view of the foregoing. I'm sorry, Mom, for what I'm about to do. Call it. 
I know it will pay you, but it is in your own interest. I am giving that man a red card. What man? The man you call husband. I have already given him a red card. He does not deserve it. And we are not meant for him. What red card? I'm sorry, Mom. Please, I'm doing all this for you. This one is taking too much time. The first one wasn't like that. Hey, hey, you okay? I should be in labor now. Where are you going to? You can't go in there. Make sure there are no complications. Oh. So
love you. My God will call you all of you. All these things that you have done to me. I'm sorry. 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 I'm Tragedies of life. It's the sadness of a love song. Am I leaving just to die? It's all sorrows when I'm long gone. Is it the hunger in my eyes? All the riches cannot buy me love. Is it the recklessness of man? A warning to forsake me now. Don't forsake me, Lord. I'm hidden sorrows in my heart, and the shame is really killing me. Oh, my heart is beating now. Silly things we take for granted Why should I be the one? Oh, the snake Where is so George? Wanted. Where is Tom? If I could turn Hold on, let me check around. if this guy is still here Change my right things for making me Is it late for me to try? I can't find this car but it's okay, you all come with me. Please come with me. Please come with me. Let me take that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Killing, 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 and killing, and So seen it should die. And death is the wages of evil. Evil is in the hearts. What you saw, you will read. For a while, but joy comet in the morning. If I could turn it all around, turn back and turn back the hands of time. How could I be blind? How could I be blind? I could not see it come. I could not see. How could see, I not see. see? I could not hear. I could not hear the voice of one. Yeah.
Like George is coming. George, are you okay? George. Jesus Christ! George. George! What happened to him? I don't know what happened to him! George! George! Oh, come on, George! Turn back and turn back the hands of time 